Hey guys, my name is Iswas and welcome to another Blender Daily Tip. And uh, today we're going to be looking at how I made these uh, meatballs here uh, in Blender 2.8. Uh, not the modeling part, just uh, the texturing. And uh, yeah, so if you want to get the entire time lapse, you can go uh, watch uh, these two tutorials. Uh, one is just the modeling part of uh, the entire scene. Uh, the second one is the uh, texturing and uh, simulation because I used the physics, uh, Blender physics, uh, to kind of place uh, these meatballs around. You can see none of them is intersecting uh, because I didn't place them by hand. I just simulated uh, them falling on top of each other. So you can go and watch that tutorial and also how I made uh, these veggies. How I also uh, added these uh, veggies. So I guess I will also do uh, a blender daily tip on those uh, simulations, how to make those simulations. And you can also see how I made this bunch here. Uh, in that time lapse. Uh, but so for now, we're just going to be looking at how I made the texturing, just a rundown of how I made the texturing. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, the setup. Uh, you can see I used a lot of uh, the noise texture and just layered uh, that using on top of each other using uh, different using the mix node. And uh, let's look at uh, the first one here. Let me isolate just the meat and see can see even some areas are more burnt uh, than others. Uh, so this is what we begin with. I began with a uh, began with a noise and uh, passed that through a car ramp and uh, kind of gave it this look here. I uh, using the colors here. Just uh, I also picked kind of color picked some sampled some of the meat we have here in the reference image and then. Uh, create another noise texture with a different scale this time. You can see it's a different scale. And I also gave it a different uh, shade and also another uh, noise texture with a different scale and uh, also varied uh, the texturing, uh, the colors a bit. And then mix those, mix these two with a the mix color node, RGB node, uh, to get this and then mix that with this. You can see the entire process on this uh, video here. But uh, it's quite very simple. It's just layering different uh, textures and I uh, uh, got the results of that uh, into a car ramp and I uh, used that as a roughness. I added the math node with an add operator to kind of control the roughness, how shiny or how rough the reflections look for this. Uh, this is the roughness <coughs> input. And I also use that as our bump map uh, to kind of add some bit of detail to that. And uh, yeah, this is what we have. And uh, then for the burnt areas, as you can see, there is a difference between some areas and uh, yeah, some areas are a little bit burnt and others are not that burnt. Uh, for that, I used uh, a gradient a texture. Uh, but uh, for the texture coordinate, I used the normal, uh, the normal texture coordinate uh, so that I can get uh, one side, uh, only uh, one side uh, to be darker and the other to be less dark. If you, if you use, say, the UV coordinate, everything would look uh, like that. I uh, would be based on the UV and uh, if you use the generated <coughs> and see you don't really have uh, as good uh, you don't really have the control that uh, you want. You don't have it placed on one face or side of the object. So I use uh, the normal so that we only mask uh, the faces facing uh, the normal direction. So, and I can see this is what we got. And then, I don't think you even need this mapping node here. It doesn't really do much. Yeah, you, you can do without it. If you feed this directly into the vector of the gradient, you should get the same results. And then, pass this through a car ramp just to control uh, how much we want and then 
I mixed these results with a kind of that more brownish color and uh, using this as the mask, uh, the normal map mask as our mask uh, to achieve uh, these results. You don't really see it here that much, but uh, in the final results, <coughs> Just give it a few seconds uh, for the shaders to compile. You can see how the, this side is a bit darker, and uh, that is all made by this color here. You can see you can even make it more burnt, all this burnt. Yeah, so that's how I made uh, these balls and another thing just to add more details I added I started I added a subdivision let me first undo this and so these were just cubes like this that I subdivided a bit you can watch uh, the time lapse so I made it I made them like this and then I uh, added a subdivision surface and then uh, how is it called? Uh, displacement modifier uh, with a texture, uh, which was uh, simply a cloud texture, and then just played around with the scale a bit to kind of add some bit of detail because you can see this is too cube, cubed, so yeah. And uh, uh, that's what we had. Yeah, so I guess in the next tutorial, I'll be showing you how to kind of simulate this into, yeah, to kind of place this down, because if you've tried placing it uh, by hand, you may run into intersecting. This may start intersecting. And uh, yeah, so thank you for watching. Uh, you can watch the entire process of putting this together uh, by watching these tutorials. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, leave a like and uh, thank you. Uh, also, if you want to get the project files, you can find them on my Patreon page. Thank you.